Yeah, this is why love isn't the worst thing, I guess, for Jedi. Like, it can go either way. But for Cal's case, if he didn't have Marin, then he wouldn't have come back. <laughs> That was incredible, though. My god. Woo! Oh yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. It's not for everybody, but in Cal's case, it saved him. I mean, Obi-Wan had a lot of strength to not turn dark side after what happened with Satine. Like, I applaud him for that. Okay, let's pick our next destination. we be sure this experiment's gonna work anyway we cannot <laughs> so we start up some arrays whatever i are. think padme Bunch could have saved anakin but through? if yes. his mother didn't okay. die okay like i've always said that that would be my breaking point as well because i've gone through similar so Damn, hyperspace too strong. <laughs> okay. Fs <laughs> <Absent> and chat boys. <laughs> I mean, at least it wasn't in the middle of all that fighting. At least it. At least it was just this part. <laughs> And also, yeah, Anakin was being, you know, fucked over by Palpatine, so that doesn't help. And he did... I mean, again, it was, it was a sense of betrayal for Anakin as well, because he thought that Padme had betrayed him because she brought Obi-Wan when Obi-Wan was the one that sneaked on, but he saw Obi-Wan, thought that... The love of his life betrayed him, and once again, it was betrayal that made him almost force choke her to death. So, yeah, don't betray people, guys. <laughs> You'll very likely get force choked, <laughs> and not in a fun way. Yeah, Windu just treated everyone like shit. <laughs> he is one of my least favorite characters. Except uh, for 2002 Clone next. Wars. Um, Miss Windu. That one, I like him. He's cool. He's not as much of an asshole what as Saul Gerrera, though. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> Just thinking. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Grab some seat, Cal. <laughs> I 
Yeah, we don't like saw in this chat. Me and my me and my bad batch homies hit Saul Guerrero. He had all these motions, no idea how to control them. Yeah, that is true. Hello, I need a bog lane to grind me right now, please. Oh. I don't bite, I promise. He took his uniform off. Uh-huh. 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 Saul lost everything in the Clone Wars. Yeah, but he is still an asshole and I still don't like him. Also, I, I'm obsessed with the background. It's amazing. Is it an outfit option, though? Maybe a New Game Plus. I'm gonna... Maybe it's the same as the Inquisitor outfit. It's, like, an option in New Game Plus. But yeah, the red background is fucking beautiful. It also... It, I think it also... Because it kind of reminds me of Dathomir a little bit as well. Um, but I love that. I am obsessed. I need it, like, blank. So I can have it as, like, a wallpaper. That's cool. I like it. It's very pretty. Well, a lot of people do like Saul, Saul Guerrero. Um, and that's completely fine. I personally just don't like him because I don't like his decisions and his, the way he thinks and the things that he does. Like, especially in Rebels, there's like, uh, there's a uh, Geonosian. Uh, like, I'm not going to spoil Rebels, but he's just very, very rude towards a Geonosian that's just trying to protect its family. And it's just, it's just unnecessary hate that comes from him. Um, and I just personally dislike his character. But that's, that's all it is, really. I just dislike him. We all have our likes and dislikes. Did I tell you my latest scheme? Don't think He's so. He's still no Pong Krell. With the Empire here thought I'd have a chance to turn a credit. Try selling useless scrap to a stormtrooper. I mean, how smart can they be? Ooh. Turns out very smart. He immediately arrested me, smacked my head with the scrap, and threw me in a watering hole. He likes Saul for being wrong? I mean, that's completely turbo. valid. Not exactly. He just annoys me. In the watering hole, I found a shiny rock that the stormtrooper is sure to buy. <laughs> it's just that the way I see Saw, he just see like he thinks about himself and doesn't think about anyone else. Which is why what happened in the Bad Batch happened. Because he didn't give a fuck that anyone else was there. He was just like, I'm gonna fucking do it for me. I don't care who else is on this this area. I'm just gonna do all shit and fuck everyone else. But again, that's just my own opinion. Barkeep. Good to see you, Cal. I, however... Will not accept anyone that likes Pong Krell. <laughs> I'm not accepting Pong Krell stands in this chat. I've seen some long faces, but yours is still the longest I've seen in some time. Rude. Am I that easy to read? No, you're positively inscrutable. I just happen to be an expert. Now, what's on your mind? I lost some people close to me. Wounds still fresh. I'll bend an ear, if you're so inclined. If it wasn't for me... Some friends of mine would still be alive. I doubt that. Most things in this galaxy are out of our control. What we can control is how we react to what the galaxy throws at us. Oh. Good advice, Monk. Best boy. I'll try to follow it. You're a good man, Cal. Better than most who frequent this bar. Though perhaps that's not saying much. Despite what you may think, the galaxy isn't solely on your shoulders. Okay, who do I have to speak to to hire Monk as my therapist? Can I, can I, can I do this? <laughs> Rex remembered Skywalker, yeah. See you later, Monk. 
Yeah. What? No, the song playing now wasn't in Mando. This song is from the first game. This is the intro song um, that Cal was listening to on his um, thing. This isn't the Mando song. From the first game. Seems like every time you set to kick the grab ball, they pull it away. I'm chock full of regrets. The last time I saw Seer, prof. all I can do now is hope mm. that somewhere out there she forgives Gone too me. soon. I'm sure she does. No regrets, Grease. We gotta keep moving. Hey, that goes for both of us, kid. I'm good, Cal. Okay. Hi. We are close to finishing this, one way or another. Yeah. I keep thinking about what happened on Nova Garon. I know. Just don't brood so much that you lose your edge. We're counting on you. Yeah. I understand. Thanks, wife. We're in this together. That's what's keeping me going. Keep your head up. Tanalor is still within reach, but we must not delay. <laughs> it's Louise in the game again. No, that's that's Ruthie. Marin is hers. <laughs> hey, Monk, you smelling what I'm smelling? My olfactory sensors can detect up to 400 distinct odors at once. You gotta be more specific. Wow! You know what really stinks? That attitude. Hey, Grease! Yeah, you. You leave Monk out of this. He has a lovely attitude, okay? The way he looked at me when I said his name was kind of scary, actually. <laughs> Uh, okay. So what is the plan now? What are we doing? Align array is at Kugel Control Center. I don't know where the fuck that is. Let me remove all these beacons because I have like... A lot. Why the fuck do I get over here? I don't know what my way in is. I don't know how how the how the how. Uh... I guess this way. I don't know. I didn't mean to press that. PlayStation controller buttons are so sensitive. Like you literally could just tap it and it'll it'll do shit. Well, I missed that one. Cow! Oh, I got him. Okay. Not a bad find. They can hear her because she... They can hear her because she's in the game. I'm not in the game. I died in the last one. <laughs> going or where i'm supposed to be going or what i'm doing have i done bounties yet no i i know that there is a spoiler in the credits so i will not be looking 
at the credits when I finish. Oh, you bitch! Is this the Rancor area? I don't want to fight the Rancor. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, it was a spiky ball. Um, I did try and do a couple of bounties, but I would rather just finish the game and then do the bounties. This feels like a trap and I don't like it. That door wouldn't last against a roller mine. But where are we going to find one around here? No. the fucking ATST? Where did I get a rollerball? Oh, over here, I guess. A long way to take it. I I am not lacking in in ruler mines. Certainly not lacking in them. Well, I've get I guess I got a couple of new pets now. I guess. Whose idea? <laughs> See, I don't want to blow one up because I'll blow all of them up. So like, I can't, I can't just get like rid of one. Oh, yep, they're still following. Yep, they're still coming. If this, if this opens up to a rancor, I'm gonna cry. No, it's a. Cheeky little chess area. Woo. I really expected there to be something in there. Trust in the force, Padawan. What is what is Oh. Oh, fuck. The balls. The balls are after me. <laughs> well, that's a quote. <laughs> Den. 
Well, this is not where I would like to be. I mean, it seems fine. That's not a wall run wall. Never mind. Oh, okay. Um, I I might n like leave this cave because this is kind of scary. Um, and I don't want to fight uh, a forest wampa inside a cave. Um, I'm good. Oh, but there was a chest up there. Uh. I don't know how I'm supposed to get to where I'm looking to go. This looks like an important entrance. A lot of them chatter on the comms, kid. How you doing? Just reached the control center. Yeah. I'll let you know if they run into any trouble. Welcome. I am Centauri Cree, the director of this experimental facility. Safety protocols require one person to remain here while the arrays are active. Grease, unless one of us is gonna stay behind, we need someone here to activate the arrays. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll ask around. See if anyone's got a death wish. Maybe Turtle? Nope. Maybe not Turtle. You leave Turgle out of this. <laughs> Turgle stays in the cantina where he belongs. Safe and sound. So no one can ever hurt him. Well, I fucked that up completely. Good God. Spooky. I have two skill points. Turgle needs to be covered in bubble wrap. He does. He does. He needs protected. But it's okay, because Cage is there and Cage will protect him. Because I told her to. Source. Me. Thank you for the hydrate. Let's move, BD. Herd troopers? What are they doing here? We found a Jedi. They're walking through. You can't stop us all. Still 
obsessed with the purge trooper armor. It still looks. Oh, I was gonna go get my secret. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Now can I get my secret? trying to press 5 million buttons at once. <sighs> I wish heal was in a slightly easier place so I don't have to take my thumbs off the thumbsticks. You'll die by my hand. Attack the enemy. by like 10 different things at once. Fuck. with me. That was really weird. It wouldn't let me. Ah. 
strike the thing. Like I can't. Okay, let me do it that time. It didn't let me do it before. Move up and attack. What? Well, how is it still alive? Oh my god, chill, dudes. For us. Maybe Bo told him we were coming. Impressive. So, this is your kingdom. I work with many talented scientists. None as talented as you, Centauri. And yet we've reached an impasse. Perhaps you will bring me some much needed luck. Patience, I ain't got none of that. I just realized you guys can't see like the little things that pop up behind my camera. This looks promising. Not bad for an abandoned facility. All the arrays are online. Now we just have to activate them. Free must have locked down the facility when they evacuated. That's not going to stop us. Our purpose is to study the abyss and what we call Kobo matter using wave technology. We've had some success in dispelling Kobo matter, allowing us to probe deeper into the abyss. What awaits us within the Kobo abyss? Join me, and we will work to discover it together. Proceed to the observation deck to initiate alignment. Huh. You gotta hand We're it to We're going Creed. up. She thought of everything. See, you made it. Breeze informed me you're in need of assistance, so here I am. It's a long trip. Couldn't have been easy. I might be 200 years old, but I'm as spry as a Padawan. 
amazing. Oh, Cal, this is simply amazing. Can you start the arrays when we're in position? Oh, I stand ready for your order. It would be my honor to see Master Kree's dream alive once more. We're your master. I love Z so much. Oh, that's scary. Scary, but exciting. Mm. Time to head back to the Mantis, buddy. Let me go through the abyss. I don't want to come from Bode. I'm not Bode. thrilled about it either. But it's the only way we're getting to Tantalor. He called me his best friend. A long trip. I felt a lot longer than it did. Yeah, I'm really excited. I am going to take a quick break though when I get like back up to the like the main area because I knew I do need to stand up for a little bit but then we will go in straight there I'm excited clear my mind kill the player that's funny that's so funny <laughs> yeah i used to have like cool uh like cool elevator music that i would play it was like the star wars elevator music that um was like part of memes and stuff i used to play that like on any elevator that i would go into but then copyright strikes started happening and I was like, I'm not risking that shit. Um, I'm good. I, no, I'm okay, thank you. I am, I'm good, I'm okay. Now, is there anywhere else I should explore while I'm here before I go to Tanalore? I'm gonna just die. many elevators i mean there's less elevators in this than what there was in fallen order it's this still guy me thank you for the 37 months thank you okay i'm gonna go stretch for a bit um but i'm gonna leave you guys with the pit droid i still haven't named him yet i don't know what to name him um dropping the sub and dipping just so I know this yes do definitely do dip I am pretty much end game so uh yes get get your ass out of here but thank you for the resub I appreciate it I hope you enjoy playing um so yeah I'm gonna be right back guys I'll be literally five minutes I just need to make sure that I stretch you guys need to make sure you stretch go stretch go I'm not I don't know Maybe, maybe I'll be fine with it. But then it's me, so... How many bounties do I have left? Oh, quite a lot. Um, I've only done five of them. So yeah, I have quite a lot of bounties. So it's just gonna be... Oh yeah, thank you. It's just gonna be a case of um not looking at the credits and i'm gonna hide the credits from chat as well so that you guys can't be like oh my god it's dr afra <laughs> i don't know <laughs> and then it means it doesn't spoil it for you guys either for me to find it still can't get over how cool this place looks 
Maj and Afra don't I would I would cry because she would be around like this this kind of era so it's like hmm she'd still be young but okay shall we just go to Tanalor because I'm really excited to see it I'm like really excited let's take a look even though I also kind of want to make my lightsaber look like black and red. Like, I know I was going for the whole Gregor look, but I've had it for long enough. I can go back to Gregor. I just might make it a little bit different for now. Just because. No reason, you know, not no reason or anything. You know, just, just because. Um... Oh, wait, was the Inquisitor paint not for the lightsaber? I mean, I can still do it. Like, they've still got black and red, but... Was the... Inquisitor color for BD? BD? BD, buddy? B BD? Where are you? There you are. Can you, can you get on the table, please? There we go. The Inquisitor paint was for BD. Okay. That's pretty cool. Kind of would have liked it for my lightsaber, but like I said, I still have colors that are the, pretty much the same, so that's fine. Um... Don't have like a black black though. I mean, that's, I guess, good enough. BD's like, you're not making me Inquisitor. What do you mean? You're not doing this to me. I'm not going dark side. That's all on you. <laughs> oh, that's quite nice. I'm still obsessed with the, the sound differences. Can you guys hear it okay? Let me turn my volume up a little bit. Like, you can hear the differences between... Cal, put your arms away. You can hear the differences between the different colors. Oh, I skipped one. Yeah, orange is angry. But I kind of want to go purple right now. I want to go back to purple. Dansley, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you. Orange is the new purple. I mean, the orange is freaking nice and it sounds angry and it... It does look very, very good. However, I want my um Where to go? I wanna keep my purple. Where to go? I mean like Revan used purple, so you know why not? White and gold with white blade. Is it um I just actually I just I need to check that. I just find the pieces for that light zipper. It might be the one that I find. Oh, that's actually really nice. Yeah, it's the Cree one, yeah. That's quite nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. I'll take that. Go watch customization for ours and ours. I could customize for ours. Like, I, I off stream the other night when I wanted to, like, 
fully make my um like my stuff clone inspired like i was just sat here and i was just loving my life it's the customization is one of my favorite parts in games whether it's outfits whether it's lightsabers whether it's anything i love ah, i just kicked my foot off my desk ow i love customization i don't like stubbing my toe ow, ow, ow. Fuck. um <laughs> um oh um yeah like customization i it it because it feels so personal i just love being able to customize it's like when i go into a game and i can like customize my entire character i'm like i'm sorry guys but i'm gonna be here for like an hour deciding what my character looks like um and the customization in this game is like next level And I could spend my entire time on it. I quite like his look. I do miss my cape and I do miss my backpack as well. <laughs> like, why can't I equip three jackets at once? <laughs> I kind of do. I, should I should I make BD Inquisitor colors as well? He's had his time as a 501st. He's had his chances. Now we're going Inquisitor. Sorry, BD. I'll change you back at some point, I promise. Oh, but he looks really pretty in 501st. Oh, I don't know why you want him. But then I'd have to change my whole outfit to black and red as well. I worked so hard to get it to this point. Do I change him? In honor of Trilla. <laughs> In honor of Trilla, wait, no, I don't want to, no, I don't want that, um, the accent, make the accent red. Vibes has had his time to shine, now we're going Trilla. I do still love this as well. I absolutely love the way this, like, this is all laid out and everything. Oh, I don't know what to go for. I'm going to stick with these ones. I really like these ones. Yeah, I like that. I like those. See, I, I do like them with the little antennas, but that is quite nice. I'm sticking with the antenna. No, I still haven't named the pit droid. I can't think of a name for him because I don't want to just go with my classic Steve. I might call him Pelly. <laughs> You can just hear him in the background. I did. I only just noticed you can still just hear him just beeping away. I like his little feetsies. But I do like this. I'm sticking with that. Okay. Feety, you look wonderful. Blaster, my Sev-inspired blaster. We're gonna change you as well. Sorry. I just need to change one color. The kind of the bandages, the kind of like bandage bit around the uh the uh bottom bit, the handle, the grip, the grip, that's the word. <laughs> um it gives me Mayday vibes as well, just because now anytime I see like sort of bandage style wraps, I'm just like, ah, Mayday. Okay, now we're all fully black and red. Oh, oh. This is for you, Trilla. <laughs> Doing this for you. 
Okay, no, where do we start with this? Um, what are we gonna go for? Hmm. I still want my kip. I, I haven't found materials, like, colors for the kip. Does anyone... This is a genuine question, though. Does anyone know where I can find the materials specifically for the kip? For the, the, the tactical jacket? Because I kind of want to wear that, but I want to see what colors it has. Remember where you got the first kip? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I remember? <laughs> Look at who you're asking. <laughs> Do I remember? <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, the answer to that question will most likely always be no. <laughs> I don't know what to go for, guys. It's in two chests. First chest you unlock gives you the item, the second unlocks the materials. File mod den on Kobo. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go find that real quick. I just wanna see what other colors that has. And then we'll go to, well then we'll go, I promise. <laughs> then we'll go to the next planet. <laughs> I know, I know I'm awful for this. I'm I'm always like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Now I'm gonna do that, and and then I end up going all over the place. It's it's the neurodivergence. Um, bile mod den, you said, Sam? Yeah. The order of the chest doesn't matter. It's just whatever. Whatever the first one you find, give you the item. Okay. I mean. I assume it's this one. That stormtrooper is treading very closely. Defend me. I'll take him down. I'm cracking it. Let's get it. What's he doing? You want to protect me. We'll fight together. Oh, shit. Is quite nice. There we go. B 
speedy looks like. I know, right? I know. Did I go past it? I did go past it. Oh, the yellow's nice. Oh, I feel. Oh, why am I have? Why am I decided to go for the Inquisitor look when I could still be all like Gregor and shit with this cape? Oh God, fuck. These look nice. These look really nice. I like that they've got different like designs and shapes as well. I love that. <laughs> if Cody had a cape? No, if Gregor had a cape. Not Cody, Gregor. Oh god, I look so cool. Where do you take me? Oh, it's this guy! Oh, I love him! Oh! It's 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 Rick's best friend. I've decided that it's it's canon that this is Rick's best friend. He's my favorite thing in this entire game. I love him. I'm not gonna kill him. I love him too much. I feel bad for doing it the first time. I'm not doing it this time. Not happening. He's too precious. No, I'm not pushing him. I've already killed him. He's just enjoying his life. Why would I hurt him? That's Todd from accounting. <laughs> Wish I could just talk to that scout trooper. I know, I know. Like, make him friendly. Make him a friendly scout trooper that you can just talk to. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to be here anymore. Just let me chill. And I'll be like, okay, that's fine. How long take it beat the game? I haven't yet. I'm probably going to soon. Um, Let's head out. <laughs> scout is shit <laughs> I'm so happy I've got a cape again. Whee! See, I'm not delaying anymore. We're going. I'm not getting distracted anymore. Are those specs up to date? Yeah. I think they are. I don't think anything's changed. Nope. My specs are not correct. I need to change my stream deck and I need to change the user interface for my microphone. Oh, I need to write a note of that. A I need to write a note to change my specs. I will sit down in a second. I need to write this down because I will forget. Um, I've already forgotten. What was I going to write down? Oh, specs. Change specs. Oh, interact with the hollow table. How is it time? 
We're heading to the abyss now. 15 hours Fire deep. Oh, you'll probably solve a while. Where are you? From here. Where are no, you? Like, in the all. story. And you see. I thought I was almost done yesterday, and I've done um, three hours now, and I'm like nowhere near done. Well, I might be near done. I'm not sure, but. Big separatist base. Um. <sighs> Probably still a way, a way to go then. Well, what do you think is taking Z so long? Dag and Gera was the only person to live through what we're about to do. At least we will die together. Hey, great pep talk, But you might kid. get some spoilers in here Hopefully if you care about spoilers, so please be careful stone. being in my stream. <laughs> I don't want Look. you to spoil yourself for anything, because we are pretty much at the end, so... I bet that's what all the other poor saps said right before they were torn into vortex chow. Enough whales. Imagine if the space whales, the purgles, showed up. <laughs> now it's an optical course. <laughs> no, this is freaky. This is cooler. This is awesome. They're coming too fast. But you are faster. Stop piloting and start flying. I'm rerouting power from deflectors to the engines. What are you, crazy? You're trading safety for speed. Exactly. We're all in on you, buddy. Come on, Grease. We have faith in you. <sighs> You're right. Come it's on. It's my ship, ain't it? Greasy does it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Is it me, or is this tunnel getting a tad cozy? It's not just you. Z, what's going on? The arrays are overloading. There's nothing I can do. What? We need to go faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Wait, wait a minute. Are you crazy? If you jump in a hyperspace blind, they'll be picking up pieces of the manis all over the outer rim. Do you trust me? You know I do, Cal. <laughs> Let her ride. Now. Whoa! <laughs> Son of a gun dark. <laughs> Another kiss! Oh. Another one! At least one. none of us lost our cool. That's three. <sighs> wow. I hope it's worth it. Cal is the Riz Master. get back uh yes <laughs> that's my answer yes <laughs> uh barking crab thank you for the prime sub welcome in thank you oh my goodness i i was like <laughs> 
I was too excited over, well not excited, but I was like too in like too much laughing over Grease and then Cal just fucking turns around and gets his Riz on and I'm like, what is, what, I'm, I, uh, like, <laughs> this game doesn't let me process my emotions, it just throws you in, in, in. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow this is my favorite place ever this is already my favorite place i've ever been to this is stunning there's so much purple Hello? Oh, she ran after me, huh? Yeah, white and purple is absolutely beautiful together. It's like two of my favorite colors, I guess. And blue as well. The blue is nice. Damn. Well done, Greasy Baby. You did well. So, this is it. Antelor. You and Marin be careful out there, okay? Yeah, yeah, you too, BD. We'll all be okay, Grease. I'm gonna hold you to that, Cal. I don't plan on living out my days on this rock, especially not with that traitor. We'll be back soon. This is stunning. So, like, can I visit here in real life? <laughs> Can we make can we just make Star Wars planets real? Um, so that I can just visit them. So this is Tanalor. Not what you were expecting? I don't know what I was expecting. So much has changed since Look at I the first reflections heard reflections and the light and stuff on the water. The so temple's this pretty. way. Dagon and Centauri Cree planned their future here. And look where it got them. I mean, pretty nice place to spend your future, to be <laughs> honest. Especially with a someone as beautiful as Dagon on a planet as beautiful as this. Like, whew. I am gonna... Off stream, I will be on photo mode here. For a very, 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 very long time. Bode will not let this end peacefully. He has already used fatherhood to justify betrayal and murder. Now we have him cornered, with nowhere else to run. He will kill or be killed. Well, say something. You're right. But I what about what to say. She's not much younger than we were when our families were taken from us. I know. You and I will carry that loss for the rest of our lives. But Kata still has a chance. Oh my god, wait. Yes, she does. If we, if we... Very well. We will give Bo the choice if, to if stand Bo, down. If Bo, like, dies... For Kata's sake. Then we can adopt and her. Ours. And then she can be our child. Yes? And then you can raise her as a night sister. Yes? And then we rebuild the night sisters. Yes? <laughs> and then we make Kali, my night sister, canon. And then we have more to rebuild the night sisters. <laughs> right? That's how this works, yeah? Yeah. What do you mean she did seem force sensitive? No, she didn't. What made her seem force sensitive? I'm just I'm just throwing out my delusions into the world. Yeah, I'm not falling down there.
if Luxon contacts you and wants Callie to be Kyle Marin's daughter, I would say no, because that's not her story. I keep thinking about something Seer once but said. A warning. If she ever becomes Every canon, Jedi not that she would, but the that would side. be I feel fucking so cool. much hatred towards Bode. Seer won her battle with the dark side. You will too. Is it bad I kind of don't want to? Is it kind of bad that I want to go dark side, Cal, like fully? Good. Like, I kind of... I don't want to go full dark side and stay full dark side. You know? Be kind of fun. And then the third game is us being trained as an Inquisitor by Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Fall back to the temple. The Nile are enveloping our position. Master Gera, that is an order. <laughs> Draw a dick on his windshield. <laughs> I'm gonna key his car. I'm gonna key his ship. <laughs> I'm just looking around to see if there's anything that I can scan while I'm here. So don't mind me just roaming around. He doesn't have a little peeper seat like Grogu does. For his child, that's rude. Tic Tats, were they Jarvis? Uh, no, they were not. They were done long before I knew Jarvis. <laughs> he has done a couple of my tattoos, but... None that are currently visible. Most of them are on my leg. Do you hear that? Kata. I can't tell if these plants are glowing because I can take them. Like, are they cuttable? No, they're not. Okay, I was just checking. God, that was fucking emotional. What the hell? That was so... Damn. <laughs> wow. I can't get over the design of this place. It's so beautiful. Hey, Katza. This is Marin. She's a friend. Friend? I'm sorry Papa hurt you. Yeah. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata, your father stole something very important. We're gonna ask him to give it back. 
Will you show us the way? Okay. Follow me. I don't like it here. It's dark and lonely. You don't have to be afraid. Better? You're very pretty. She is, isn't she? <laughs> How's it going up there? Kata! How did you get here? It wasn't easy. We have our ways. You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire. Including Kata. And you. But you have to surrender. Now. Go outside, Kata. Listen to them, please! Enough! I will decide what's best for my family! Jeez, Bode! Fucking almost killed her! You will break! You will yield! Not a chance. Yield! You cannot escape. Hey, you get your stinking hands off her. Distract him! I will strike from the shadows. Another. Yeah, his saber's orange. Oh! 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 
him. transition stages like where it goes from like one place to another i love that in fights like this like yeah like similar to like Thor and Balder and stuff like that, like changing areas and stuff. Very cool. Especially when you use Night Sister magic to do it. You cannot escape. On your words, you shall not escape us. Distract him! I will strike from the shadows. She's gonna strike, but she's really not doing that much. This is 
My home now! No chance! He's annoying to fight. Damn. Like, fighting Daigon is one of the my most favorite boss fights ever. He was so much fun. And I love everything that he did. Like, oh, hello. Our decision is final. Master Ancesis, please. He has the will to fight. And I admire it. But it is not only his life we would risk. The ships are leaving. There is no time. I suggest you both join us. This is my home now! You will break! Yield! I know your moves. On me. Do your thing. I need a moment. Attack. I require you will yield. Stim. Distract him. I will strike from the shadows. the difficulty on 
because you were tired and impatient. I've had to do it on two bosses so far. And I might end up doing it on this. I think Daigon's the only one I didn't lower the difficulty on, really. Like I said, he was a lot of fun. I want to fight Daigon again. I really, honestly, really fucking enjoyed the... the especially the final fight with him. Like, that was cool as hell. Vader seem a bit too OP. I get Vader being OP because I mean it's Vader and I, I if if Vader wasn't OP like if Vader was easy to fight I would have been disappointed like you can't have Vader and have him like be easy so I think that no matter the difficulty I do think Vader should be incredibly difficult um so I I'm glad that he was a little bit like crazy to fight I'm glad I had to turn down my difficulty for Vader because that means he's strong and that means that's 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 realistic. Um but no, I get I get what you mean, Shadow, but just I'm just saying specifically Vader, I do think that it's good that he was a little bit fucking insane. <laughs> like that was that was fucking cool. Like yeah, I turned the difficulty down, but it was still really fun. I'm really cool to see. Yeah, Vader's calmness, like his his lack of I don't give a fuck, basically. His lack of care is just he's just so effortless when he fights. Um, and I love that. Who wins Dagon or Vader? It depends. Do you mean like in a fight? Like between Dagon and Vader? Vader, of course. and he probably has the ability to very much damage Vader. I could definitely see him doing a lot of damage to Vader, in all honesty. That hurt? Distract him! I will strike from the shadows. Like, Seer... Seer was very close to having him. Seer could have had him. I mean, even Dr. Aphra almost killed Vader. But that was through tactics and not through fighting. That was through... <laughs> Far, basically. Die. strong with the boss fights or anything because obviously that's a good thing it's more just i'm incapable of beating them because i cannot video game <laughs> i'm not very good at things like this so i'm not complaining at the game specifically i'm just complaining at myself for being incapable of doing it Let's do this. Toss me one, BD. 
Why does one do a video game? I don't know. Die. I mean, if you've been part of my channel for long enough, you'll know that I suck at video games. So. Yeah, Daigon would definitely put up a fight for Vader, 100%. Hey, BD. And I think it'll be very interesting to see. I think it'll be interesting to know Vader's kind of thoughts on High Republic Jedi being brought in. Like, he's already had enough to deal with the current era of Jedi still surviving. And yet he has to realize, like, Jesus Christ, people from, like, 400 however many years ago are still around. Like, is there any way to get rid of these fucking Jedi? Like, he'd just be fucking sick of it. Die! Ready? What you got, Captain? Die! Oh my god, Bailey, yeah, if Daigon did like a force hallucination of Padme. If he did that, he could fucking murder that. He could murder him. Easily. So easily. <laughs> He'd be fucked. Vader actually hopes there's no end to the Jedi because killing them keeps him focused and busy. I mean, yeah. Oh my god, if Daigon turns himself into Anakin, so Vader can just see his his past self. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's an interesting idea. This needs to be a comic, at least. Like, this would be a really cool comic idea. Or an animated show would be kind of cool as well, but like... <laughs> You will yield. Yeah, but fanfic isn't good enough. I want to witness it. Like, I can read it, yeah, but I want to witness it. I want to look at it happen. I don't like comics and animation and stuff so much. Because like books him. and stuff just don't do it from the for shadows. me. Words aren't good enough. In my opinion, and also I can't read anyway, but well, I struggle to read. Um, but yeah, for me, when it comes to like good stories, good stories to me don't come in words. Not a chance. Because I want to witness it. You know, I want to witness it happen. Damn it, here. Because I am a visual learner and a visual appreciator, and I feel like. Visuals are very important to good stories. Like, don't get me wrong, there is a lot of great stories out there, but me, like, personally, I prefer to see something visually. Got a trick for you. It's like when I'm reading, like, there's some, like, there is some, like,
like Star Wars fix that I have been reading recently and you know when they bring up like a certain type of like creature or species I have to google it so that I know what it looks like like I have to know what all the characters and what all the creatures around me look like so that I can help imagine it Die. Do I have a fantasy? I don't know what that means What's an Avantasia? things out in your mind um, Not a chance. it depends hey i don't know really like if i'm just thinking of something i can see it kind of but when i'm reading books and stuff i can't imagine things happening For me, it's mostly just neurodivergence with like suspected autism. That some doctors are like, yep, some doctors are like, no. So for me, it's just my struggle to read things comes from that and brain fog and a bunch of other things that I have. One doctor did say that I wouldn't have, like, because when I when I was going to the doctor inquiring about this stuff, um, the first doctor I saw said that I wouldn't because I'm female, well, born female. Um, so she said that it's impossible. Um, but she still sent me to a professional. Anyway. Um, that person. The person that they, that they sent me to then was the one that diagnosed me with OCD and Tourette's, but then said, you might have some form of autism, like, on the spectrum somewhere, but I'm not the professional to diagnose that, so you're gonna have to go back to your doctor and ask to talk to an autism specialist, but that could take years. And I'm like, I'm not going to the doctor for that because I've been trying to get diagnosed for multiple medical issues for 14 years now for other things and it's like the doctors don't give a fuck so there's literally no point in me going to an autism specialist for them to be like hey no you were born Run. female sorry i need help. help when i literally have so many like <laughs> dude i come on like i have so many symptoms and so many things that are like yeah mainly my sensory processing disorder which Buddy, drives help. me insane. It's like... It's very obvious to a lot of people as well. Like, I have a lot of people who have said about it, but doctors are just useless, so I don't bother anymore. Because 
because Quit. the NHS Help. have been useless to me. Bode, you're so fucking annoying! Oh my god, his hits are so, like, off. Like, it feels like at some point he shouldn't hit you. He just killed me. I'm just gonna go to story mode. Good god. Sorry, Cal. trying to have a fucking discussion here. <sighs> it was considered me considered medically impossible to be both. Yeah, th it is possible to be both. Like, I know many people that are on both sides of it. So... It's, it's very annoying, especially at this age as well, because I'm 27 this month, and... You know, if you don't get diagnosed as a kid, basically, if you're... If you're born female and you're not diagnosed as a kid, then you're fucked, basically. The health system are gonna say, no, we don't care about you. Fuck off. Pretty much. Um, in my case, for my other health issues, like, I'm just gonna take a break now while we talk about this, because now I'm, like, invested. Um, but it's a case of, like, with my physical health problems that I've been going on for 14 years now that I've been trying to get diagnosed um they kept saying you're young you're healthy you're fine it's like if you're not an 80 year old person then you're you're fine apparently um and I've literally told them that I would rather unalive than be in the pain that I'm in every day 24 7 constantly um and they were like oh, you're fine I'm fine I'm fine um there's there's I've, I've had a lot of struggles with with doctors and with my health issues i had to go i had to get someone from england to diagnose me with my um chronic fatigue syndrome me um because the doctors in northern ireland specifically are fucking dreadful i mean literally dreadful um so i had to have a professional from england come over to diagnose me with my chronic fatigue syndrome um but my pain issues are probably never going to get diagnosed and i've been on millions of, well not millions but every kind of medication that my doctor was able to offer i have tried and basically after i tried every every kind of medication including iv drips um and like different kinds of things they basically just said okay no it's useless and it's like what what the fuck do you mean it's useless like they just and then they'll be like here's some antidepressants and i'm like that's not what I'm here for. I'm here because I am in severe agony every single hour of every single day of my life. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> uh, like it's it's a it's a it's a disaster. It really is a disaster. And then yeah, like I've been diagnosed with many mental like you know depression and anxiety like they didn't shy away from that because they they think it's a good chance to be like here's some more medication um but yeah it's uh very annoying especially when it comes to the whole neurodivergent issues that i've been having especially my sensory issues i like almost ca like a cancelled stream earlier because i had a sensory overload from one little tiny thing that freaked me out so much that i was i went into panic and i was like i can't handle this so, Robert Healthcare and mental support, yep. It's, it's a lot. It is a lot. It really is a lot. Your doctor right now is all about the number of patients versus the actual care he's doing. Yeah, it seems to be the way. It's, <laughs> it's something. Truly really something. And you're fine as someone clearly in pain should be a disciplinary offense well i'm young and i'm healthy which i'm really fucking not <laughs> um yeah it's been not very fun like i'm surprised that they diagnosed me with my ocd and my tourette's because i didn't think that they would pick up on that and diagnose that but that was interesting <laughs> Distract him! I will 
Because we don't give them that. Got a trick for you. Stand still. is free so it's like very few people will pay unless it's like really necessary and i mean i have done which was how i got my chronic fatigue diagnosis but you know it's because everything's free that the doctors don't care like you're not paying them so they don't, they're not going to give you the health care like you're not giving me money then i'm not going to help you like <laughs> The only reason that I feel like I ever need a diagnosis is so that I have more of an understanding. I don't like not knowing things. On your daughter. Claude, we know what it's like to grow up alone. Please listen to them, Papa. All right. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kata. I tried.
How are you feeling? Better. Thanks. Good. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. For many years I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I loved. But I was wrong. And one day, I met someone who also lost his family. Together, we found another way to survive. This pain is yours. It is part of you. When my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too. I guess. Yes. But it does not have to define you. God, you don't have to hit me like this. This is hitting a little too close and to you home. you must not let it consume you.
saved my life on Brock. You let me walk my own path when I needed to. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Now you're gone. We will continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for what comes next. Guide her through the darkness. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was crazy. I know, I know I'll turn off the credits, but I want to give the people the respect that they deserve. <laughs> they worked on this game. I will not look at the credits. I will not look at the credits. If you guys see the name that's going to be spoiled, please do not say, but I'm not going to be looking at the credits, but these people deserve their names to be on screen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan, for the gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. What are we looking for? There's apparently a spoiler. Uh, a voice actor is named and it spoils a side quest. So. Oh, it's not for another 10 or so minutes. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so full of emotions right now. That was beautiful. I don't think there is a word to describe this game. Crazy baby. Not exactly what we expected, but this place is our home now. Yeah, Grease. Yeah, I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the hidden path. And find the anchorites. And build a saloon. I mean, the place is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. This belongs with you. It belongs with all of us. We 
you think, kid? Should we give it a shot? Yeah. Let's do it. Ah, that's the spirit! Oh, that's great. Come on, I'll bet you're hungry. I'll make you something to eat. Did you ever have a scar stick? <laughs> We're back in. Okay, journey complete. You've reached the end of your journey. However, the galaxy can be freely explored. There may yet be secrets left to discover. New Journey Plus is available. Oh, exciting! All stances on cosmetics from previous games will be unlocked along with new, some new perks and lightsaber colors. <laughs> lightsaber colors, you say? <laughs> new Journey Plus free... All right, New Journey Plus free perks. Purity grants a massive increase in weapon damage for both friends and foes. Warrior replaces standard enemies with new and more difficult combat encounters. Friend said it randomizes your cosmetics on death. Huh. Huh. Damn. I feel emotional that it's like the story's over. I know I wanted to go through the story so that I could like avoid the spoilers and stuff, but man, I'm emotional. It's over. <laughs> I want more. I want more. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Ah. Ready when you are. I just hope that compass still works. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Time to see if that compass is still working. Why wouldn't it be? With my life. <laughs> it is a mechanical object. You have no control over it. Fair enough. <laughs> Where should we take her first? I think she deserves to meet the pit droid. Oh, I can't talk to her. Hello. She's so cute. I love her. I love her so much. What do you think we'll find? 